state by your servers law express this law in in the vector form two identical circular coils p and q each of radius r carrying current 1 ampere and root 3 ampere respectively are placed concentrically and perpendicular to each other lying in the x y and y z plane find the magnitude and direction of the net magnetic field at the center of the coil db equal to mu zero by four pi ideal sine theta by r square that's our equation and in vector form we need to write it in the vector form okay so we need to consider the vector so there are different method db equal to mu zero by four pi ideal sine theta r square into r cap you can write that this is this r is magnitude of the vector okay this r is magnitude of the vector when we are considering only magnitude just we can write r square only because it is magnitude and there is one more form db equal to mu zero by four pi ideal sine theta into vector r divided by r cube because mag uh, unit vector r cap is equal to vector r divided by r magnitude of vector r so it will be r cube so you can write in any form these two are vector form and this is only magnitude vector dl is a vector okay first let us draw the diagram so according to this question i am going to draw the diagram first okay xy and yz plane so they are mutually perpendicular xy and yz plane they are mutually perpendicular one circle is one coil is in this manner and other coil is in this manner and they have a common center okay this is the diagram we can consider this is coil 1 this is coil 2 and the current is flowing in this direction it is 1 ampere current is flowing in this direction it is root 3 ampere i am considering like this both coil will produce a magnetic field okay coil 1 will produce a magnetic field coil 2 will produce a magnetic field magnetic field produced by the coil 1 it is b1 the magnetic field produced by coil 2 it is b2 okay so here we need to apply thumb rule to find the direction okay because it is a coil so you need to imagine you are holding the coil and circling fingers are indicating the direction of current so in coil 1 the direction of current will be this so your encircling will be encircling fingers will be in this direction so there is a magnetic field it is b1 because of coil 1 because thumb is indicating towards right and coil 2 when we are considering coil 2 the magnetic field is in, in upward direction it is b2 because encircling fingers will give the direction of current okay so b1 b2 that is a magnetic field at the center here we need to find the resultant magnetic field because it is a vector this is the resultant magnetic field for finding the resultant magnetic field there is an equation resultant magnetic field b is equal to root of b1 square plus b2 square but we don't know the value of b1 and b2 that we need to find b1 equal to one now we are considering only coil number one okay equation is mu zero i by 2 r r is radius i didn't mark the radius here both coil is having both coils are having the same radius so i didn't mark it so here b1 equal to instead of this b1 i am giving the value mu zero into i is 1 ampere by 2r instead of this b2 mu zero into root 3 by 2r okay so b is equal to root of b1 square is mu zero by 2r all square plus mu zero root 3 by 2r all square now i am going to take the common terms outside the root b is equal to mu zero is common mu zero square if i am taking it out it will be mu zero only okay 2 r square it is common for both case so 2 r i am taking it out outside the root inside the root it will be 1 square plus root 3 square it will be 3 so b is equal to mu zero by 2r into root 4 b is equal to mu 0 by 2r into 2 2 and 2 will cancel b is equal to mu 0 by r this is the answer this is the magnetic field now we need to find the angle i am going to find this angle okay this angle for that i am completing this diagram like this tan theta tan theta is equal to 
opposite side is this is opposite side this is b2 right so we can write tan theta is equal to b2 by b1 okay what is the value of b2 i am writing it here okay tan theta equal to instead of b2 i can give this mu0 root 3 by 2r mu0 root 3 by 2r into instead of this b1 is it it is division i am taking the reciprocal multiplicative inverse and multiplying it b1 is mu0 by 2r it will be 2r by mu0 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 will cancel 2r 2r will cancel here it will be tan theta equal to root 3 theta will be equal to tan inverse root 3 tan inverse root 3 is 60 degree so that is the direction of the resultant magnetic field it is making an angle of 60 degree with the magnetic field produced by the coil 1